welcome all to the new class of ak by lecture series in this class we will discuss one of the widely used cytogenetic technique named peripheral blood lymphocyte culture in detail before starting the detailed discussion of this topic as always we will start from the basics first basic thing is the what is cell culture cell culture refers to the removal of cells from the animal or plant and their subsequent growth in a favorable artificial environment under proper conditions the cells can live and even grow if the scientist isolated the normal matured differentiated cells from an animal or plant and provided the favorable conditions for the growth then the cell simply divide by mitosis if the scientist isolated the immatured in previous case the scientist isolated the matured differentiated cell but if the scientist isolated the immatured or undifferentiated cells such as any type of stem cells he can direct the fate of the cell by providing appropriate living conditions to the collector cells how a scientist or researcher maintain a culture or how he or she uh, control the life of a group of cells in front of his lab desk we know that growth is maintained and controlled by providing certain conditions so which are the conditions required to grow the cell in culture actually the culture conditions vary widely for each cell types but the artificial environment in which the cells are cultured invariably consists of a suitable vessel containing some sub special substances which are they which are the special substances a substrate first one a substrate or medium that supplies the essential nutrients the second one the growth factors third one hormones and the gases specialized not specialized gases actually oxygen and carbon dioxide and a regulated physico chemical environment this is all about the cell culture and the conditions that essential for the maintenance of the cell culture so a cytogenetic laboratory is a specialized lab in the study of human chromosome number structure and methods used to analyze chromosomes in other words it is also called karyotyping so what is karyotyping in simple words karyotyping is the is the analysis of entire chromosome through the microscope in detailed aspect karyotyping is the process of pairing and ordering of all the chromosomes of an organism actually karyotyping or the process of pairing or ordering all the chromosomes is the, is the final step it is the final step of a series of experimental procedures the methodology starts with cell culture in the last class we saw which are the cells that can be used for the cytogenetic techniques for more details watch previous video today in this lecture we are focusing on peripheral blood lymphocyte culture the blood cell karyotyping method was developed to provide information about chromosomal abnormalities the steps include first first collect the venous blood collect the venous blood in a heparinized vacuum container from the person being analyzed lymphocyte cells in the collected blood uh, do not normally undergo subsequent cell divisions but we will provide the nutrients and the mitotic uh, stimulators through the medium we are using here in pblc we are using rpmi as the medium i said that normally i said that normally lymphocytes do not undergo subsequent cell divisions but in the presence of a mitogen lymphocytes are stimulated to enter into mitosis by dna replication the culture medium containing the mitotic stimulator such as phytohemoglobinin that is pha and fetal bovine serum that is fbs as the serum supplement 
after completing these two steps allow the cells to grow for two to three days that is 48 to 72 hours in 37 degrees celsius then after 48 to 70 48 or 72 hours add a mitotic inhibitor called colchicine into the culture to stop mitosis in the metaphase stage then again incubate the inhibitor cells for two hours in 37 degrees celsius after that transfer the cells into the centrifuge tube then centrifuge the tube at 2000 rpm centrifugation concentrates the cell at the bottom of the tube then remove the supernatant and add a hypotonic solution of kcl that is potassium chloride into the cell button causes the cell to swell and move apart the cells are again incubated for few minutes in 37 degrees celsius after that centrifuge the tube and add acetic acid and methanol mixture of 1 is to 3 concentration to wash the fit to wash and fix the cells then after washing and uh, fixing drop the remaining solution con containing cells on, on a microscopic slide then stain the slides I, actually you can use any of the stains like gymsa trypsin uh, staining quinacrine etc we will discuss the stains using for the procedure in next class after staining then observe the cells under the microscope and take the photograph of the plate normally 20 cells are analyzed uh, which is enough to rule out the mosaicism condition you can see the plate as this then you can either manually cut out individual chromosomes uh, from the uh, photographic plate after printing on uh, or you can use a dedicated software for the arrangement of the chromosomes as ideogram or karyotype so chromosomes can be microscopically observed and evaluated for abnormalities using pblc techniques when you arrange the homologous chromosomes as karyotype representations then you can see metacentric, submetacentric, acrocentric, and telocentric chromosomes depending upon the species you select for. When you arrange the chromosomes, you have to follow certain rules. First rule keep the longest chromosome on extreme left, fix the shortest chromosome on extreme right and six chromosomes on extreme right then which are the advantages or applications of doing karyotyping it helps you reveal structural features of each chromosomes and it helps in studying chromosomal banding pattern next uh, it helps in the identification of chromosomal aberrations and it is useful in the diagnosis of parental genetic defects and it aids in studying evolutionary relationships uh, evolutionary changes among organisms and it is this technique is helpful in the detection of numerical aberrations of chromosomes and we can identify the gender of unknown samples by this technique then which are the limitations of this technique first limitation first limitation is only experts can arrange the chromosomes during karyotyping and the second limitation is small scale structural abnormalities cannot be detected by this technique many uh, defects like deletions duplications and many others other cannot be detected using this technique finally let's discuss the condition when the karyotyping procedure is opted by a clinician there are a lot of conditions that demand the karyotyping test we will discuss some of those you can see lot more when you search the same so the first condition is if 
in the presence of any suspected or obvious numerical chromosomal aberrations related syndromes and second in the case of unexplained mental retardation uh, the, and the third is when a prepubertal female approaches the hospital uh, with other clinical conditions along with proportionate short stature and the fourth condition is in the condition of abnormal sexual development and differentiation and the fifth condition is the most common condition that is infertility and the sixth condition is also very common uh, if the couple faces recurrent spontaneous abortions or fetal losses actually recurrent means three or more uh, in number seventh is in the condition of unexplained stillbirth and the eighth condition is uh, if the parents of a child with a structural chromosomal abnormality and if siblings and parents of a person with balanced structural rearrangements and is in the condition in the condition of hematological uh, malignancies and uh, when if a person is with multiple monogenetic disorder and if a woman have the manifestations of an X-linked recessive disorder and if the condition uh, if the condition is the pregnancy at risk of chromosomal abnormality so these are the indications for the chromosomal analysis actually as part of a post graduation program in zoology only very few colleges offering genetics as the elective paper especially in Kerala uh, and those students uh, who opted for such institutions will get the opportunity to acquire the skills in the technique of karyotyping. Actually, our college, St. Joseph's College in Yanaku, offering this course. This is the end of today's lecture. Hope everyone understood the topic well and thank you.